Welcome to our brief history of the blues. I'm JC, this is Angelina. Hello, hello, nice to bring our music to you. So, the blues genre started in 1860 in America and was really given to us by the Africans who were living in America and who were slaves at the time, um, working on lands and writing songs and singing them as their kind of form of expression and emotion. So a lot of the songs were kind of coming out as spiritual songs, as well as work hollers, um, prayer, um, heartfelt, heartfelt emotional pieces, sometimes on guitar, just often a cappella by their voice and um, carrying their message and their story across. Um, and then since then, it's just, just traveled everywhere and it's still um, in our sound waves right now and it stemmed a lot of music from the blues sound um infiltrating into jazz to rock uh to country it's it's a really good starting point to um follow the trailer music on so this number is called candy man and written and recorded by many but uh written by uh, the reverend gary D davis but recorded by many i should say so candy man blues recorded by um, blues legend Mr. Big Bill Brunzi. I'm trouble in mind, I'm blue, but I won't be blue always. My big dog someday. I'm going down, down to the river. Take my rocking chair. And if the blues all 
overtakes me Oh, I'll rock on from there A little song here called Blue Railroad Train, coming down the railroad track, a song about hobos. Rolling 
stone. Well, I buddy Waters used to say now. next song was written by the um, iconic Memphis Minnie who was born in 1890 christened Lizzie Douglas and she was one of 13 children one of the youngest and for her living and survival she was just on the street doing a lot of busking and she got recognized while she was busking with her third husband out of barber's shop by a Columbia um, an, an AR a and R man from Columbia Records, and he recognised the talent there. And he invited them over to the studio in New York and recorded a couple of tracks with her and um, her husband at the time. He said, "Your stage name is going to have to change to um, Memphis Minnie, and your partner's going to be called Kansas Joe McCoy because Lizzie Douglas isn't a name that people are going to flock to see." She worked really hard and recorded over two or three hundred de- records. Um, what was special about Memphis Minnie was she was an exceptionally good guitar player and especially in the finger picking technique and yeah just an absolute icon to to um, watch footage of and to hear her records so this one is called There Ain't Nothing Good in Rambling Either Running Around Place I've been but I'm saying ain't good and good and rambling either running right on down and don't give me a good man who are your settle right on down first left home I stopped in Tennessee the people out there saying honey you gonna stay with me well they look good and rambling oh, oh, oh. either running right on down 
the next song is called Hurry Home Blues, and I'm using finger picks to get that more old time blues sound. It goes like this. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the show. Um, there's a very brief history of blues. Of course, blues is such a big area and there's so many different styles of electric blues and Chicago blues and Texas blues and all this kind of stuff. But we've given you an introduction of how it started. Um, and as you've seen, these guitars have been used a lot. All the guitars we've used today are the kind of period instruments from the 1930s. Uh, this is an, an old resonator, Duolian, um, made out of uh, just gun steel and they've got a certain haunting sound. This was 1931, and a bit like the silver one, they've got those old kind of uh, historic sound, which goes with the music. Well, we'll say goodbye with this song. Um, I heard it on an album, an old vinyl, which um, our father had given to us um, in a collection of other vinyl. And um, this, this album was called Country Girls, and it was a field recording done of the ladies who were working on the land and there was one song in particular which which really caught my attention and it was this haunting voice of a singer called Ruby Glaze and the song she was singing was called Lonesome Day and I did a bit of research into Ruby Glaze because I know nothing about her and this was the only song I'd ever heard her and I just fell in love with her voice so on researching who is Ruby Glaze and where was she from, I followed the line and she was the wife of the blues guitarist, um, Blind Willie McTell, and who, whose, whose wife was Kate McTell. So really Ruby Glaze is Kate McTell. And she used to um, sing with Blind Willie McTell and, and do concerts and share the company with singers like Bessie Smith. So she was really well respected. So she must have gone out and done little projects on her own. And uh, this is one of her songs called Lonesome Day. The track I heard was just her doing a cappella, but 
JC has um, expanded and we brought a bit of bottleneck spirit into it. Here we go. I was born down in Georgia, hang around in Tennessee. But a man down in Georgia, they wants for me. You can't go, you can't stay, be coming back some lonesome day. But I'm coming back to my baby some lonesome day. Thanks. 